you beautiful people. My face. Finally, it's been uh, a long time since I've had the camera this way round. But what we're here to do is that we're here to um, drink beers. Cheers. And also talk about things, talk about stuff. So I hope you're all enjoying your, well, probably not enjoying, but I hope you're enjoying your isolations. Um, I hope that a lot of you are trying to find as much to do with the, uh, the time. Because to be quite honest, this is like the longest paid holiday. That's the way I'm looking at it. As long as paid holiday, yeah, some days it could be boring. Um, but I managed to get a lot of housework done. I managed to tidy up this place. Um, there was a lot of stuff that was being moved from pillar to post, and uh, finally managed to get some sort of semblance. Um, but one of the things that we are going to be talking about is this fella right here so let's just lean up over and that's him this guy so this is the uh, studio series uh, Hasbro studio series mix master um, personally overall the sculpt is very very good um, the transformation is also very very good I mean I can't I haven't got many complaints about this particular transformer it's got a lot of facial sculpt which I don't know if I fit it up to the camera so there you go it's got a hell of a lot of facial sculpt um, and it's a uh, it's actually a nice transformer to transform as well. So, and it's been very, very nice to me, sat on the shelf up there. Um, in terms of the other Studio Series Constructs cons, I mean, I will be doing a review on this guy. Um, it was supposed to be released yesterday, the review on the Studio Series Mix Master. But unfortunately, um, due to obviously all the commitments, um, such as like family life and household commitments, and um, practically um, trying to stop my daughter from um, basically ransacking the house. Um, just to note as well, I have got a trek list playing in the background. Um, as you can tell, I do listen to metal music and I'm going to highlight all the tracks I mean I don't own any of the rights to the songs at all um, it's just a playlist that I've got playing in the background um, all paid for uh, through obviously iTunes music etc uh, this song that's playing now Kill Switch Engage The Signal Fire is Oh my god, an absolutely amazing song. If you're a metalhead like me, I recommend that you do listen to it, if you haven't already. I would also recommend the first song that played on before there, um, A Day to Remember's New Signal, uh, Resentment, and it is also very, very good. So, yeah, um, this... So, coming back to the Studio Series Mix Master, I mean, this guy is... Fantastic. I mean, I like a lot of features on this guy. A hell of a lot of features. Um, I mean, as you can see, there's two bits here on the front. Um, that's because what Hasbro have actually done is that they've actually incorporated all three of his molds into one. So they've he's got his truck form, his gestalt form his robot form and his cannon form as well so this guy is really really um, one of the 
bosses when it comes down to uh, the studio series figures and to be quite honest I am not disappointed with him in the slightest so yeah Hasbro very well done on this figure um, also I mean I have got Obviously with the um, COVID-19 pandemic, what's going on at the moment, I've currently got Scavenger, Studio Series Scavenger. Um, he's on hold at the moment um, because obviously of the import-export problems we're in certain areas. Um, I've had to hold off ordering Scrapper. Scrapper and um, overload as well so I'm nearly there there's three construct guns that are still on hold um, four if you include the um, the other mold of Rampage um, which they released a studio series Skipjack don't know whether anybody else has seen that um, actually no no, it's not. Uh, it's not Hasbro. Um, it's AOYI who have released the uh, Studio Series Skipjack. To be honest, I would have preferred to have an alternative hand to Scrap Metal. So you didn't just have to settle for Scrap Metal because Scrap Metal is just there. I would have loved to have had a Bucket Head, uh, but the Devil Saviour um, company have uh, they're making their third party version of the Devastator and it is absolutely amazing I mean one of the things I will say about the um, sculpt on Devastator's face on this guy on Mixmaster because it's contained within here uh, it is very good not as good as Devil Saviors but it's still pretty damn good um, so yeah, so that's that was one of my pickups. So what we're gonna do is I, I, we're kind of running through this year's pickups um, so far. Like I said in my last video, or if you're part of any of the groups that I'm part of, when I did a live video saying, right, okay, um, I. We'll be doing a lot more pickup videos to share with you guys. Um, so yeah, Studio Series Mixmaster. I'll just go and put him back on the shelf for the rest of the uh, Studio Series guys. Just in case you guys haven't seen the other videos, I'll just quickly spin things round. So here we go. That's my high tower. Then we've got. Um, Rampage and scrap metal uh, long holes behind Howie Tower as well. And this guy, he stands just here, like so, like that. I'll sort him out in a minute. Uh, hence the reason why I've posed him in the way that I've posed him. Uh, put this camera down because it is really quite difficult to hold on the tripod. So. Uh, one of the things that will just very, very quickly go over. So there we go, that's my mix master back where he needs to be. So, other pickups um, that we'll just quickly run through. Um, and that's this stuff that I'm just putting on the desk behind me. Um, as you can see, that's in the corner there is my custom Devastator. He's still with me. Um, took me nine months to build that thing. He's still not a hundred percent where I want him to be but currently how he looks at the moment um, a lot of people have commented on the way that he has been painted 
Um, I'd say that it was my first ever uh, paint job as well. I kind of, I personally feel like I did very well on him. Oh, just realised there's another thing here that I've not picked up. So, um, oh, these here. Um, I've got any more. Uh, oh yeah, there's these guys. So I've got these guys. Um, I wish I kind of really got all this sorted out uh, prior to the video. You know, it would kind of make sense to have everything ready beforehand. You know. Um, so yeah. There we go. Uh, we've got everything now. So, first things first, let's start with um, Transformers. So, I've got here um, oh, which one's this now? I actually forgot what this guy's name. Anyway, uh, B and M Bargains in the UK. If you guys know who they are, um, stopped the Siege um, series one, so Transformers Siege series one um, Battle Masters. So, so we've got. This guy. So let's fetch him closer. There we go. So it's not very often I have the camera facing towards me, so yeah. So we've got that guy. And we've got this guy. So there we go. So you've got. So that, that's them two battle masters, and then we got um, Lionizer. I remember the name of that guy. So, as a matter of fact, it's going to bug me otherwise. It really is going to bug me. So let me just. So we've got Siege, uh, oh right there we go, that's it, Fire Drive and Blowpipe, so that guy there, that's Blowpipe. And I just could not remember their names for the life of me. So, and Fire Drive. So, there we go. So, that's the um, Siege Wave 1 uh, Battle Masters that I picked up. I picked up these guys from one of the groups I'm part of. So, I've got got them in their leg mode at the minute and that's uh, Combiner Wars Sinner Twin so I love the Combiner Wars figures I just think they're so good um, obviously there's only so far that you can push the Combiner Wars line which is why it kind of drew to a close with Power of the Prime um, and also, we've got this one, which everybody knows and loves. That's Cutthroat. So, let's raise that further for you. So, we've got Cutthroat. All, both very, very good condition. And I purchased both of those for um, 
here in the UK, 20 great British pounds. So it could be about 20 bucks. I don't think the exchange rate is that much different anymore in terms of our, um, like, our like the currencies. So, uh, and especially when you're wanting to buy things, I mean, a lot of things I buy um, do come from China. Um, but currently, it's a bit of an awkward situation. Um, also with the COVID virus uh, lurking around. Um, other things like, I don't know whether you saw very briefly on my display over there, is a, um, is a collection and these are actually something what mean a great deal to me um, and they are these I don't know whether you can see them you remember what they are so that's Talon um, the, he's not complete so he's a recent pickup as well it's quite an expensive one to get hold of um, and that's uh, Rhesus. Um, so we've got Talon, Rhesus. Uh, then we've got Bloodsucker, which is also a smaller one. Um, if anybody are wondering what these are, um, they are something called Mighty Max. Uh, so Mighty Maxes were around 1994. 1995 time um, they were basically the guys version of the Polly Pockets so this is like kind of what you get so if I, I've just opened Talon so kind of what you get there is like there you go you get a little max in there the jaw of this one would pop out and that was a tank so as you can see underneath there's tank treads if you can see them um, so more of the tra uh, tank treads on there um, and then everyone they always come with an enemy a bad guy uh, which is mounted in the top so there you go so that's a maggot uh, enemy uh, which makes up one of the talons on the front of the face so if I just kind of get my big fat fingers out of the way you'll be able to see where it goes so there we go Let's try it again alright there we go there we go so there we go so close that also locks in the jaw um, and the pattern was pending for like a hell of a long time on the Mighty Maxes um, every single one that I own do say pattern pending um, so yeah, Mighty Maxes are a big deal for me as well as Transformers. Um, I don't think I've got any more on of these on hold at the moment. Um, yeah, there isn't. I was just thinking in my uh, wish list then what whether I'd got any on hold or I haven't, which is always a good thing. So I'll just put these down here. Also have a uh, another quick drink of my beer. Um, cheers. So it's exceptionally hot. At the moment as well in the UK especially for this time of the year um, yeah 
and I'm hoping that it sticks around for a bit longer, you knowing while this lockdown disappears. That would be lovely. Um, also, these. Now, I don't know whether anyone can remember these, but I picked these up recently. So, Transformers books. Like Ladybird books, I think they were. Yeah, Ladybird books. Um, I've even got the one for the Transformers movie as well. Um, so that was that was cool to pick all those up. So I got uh, Decepticons at the Pole, Autobot Strike Oil, Autobot Hostage, Galvatron's Air Attack, Decepticon Hideout, uh, obviously the movie. Uh, Megatron's Fight for Power, Autobots Fight Back, and Laserbeak's Fury. So, that was pretty cool to pick those up. Um, along with those, couldn't pass these up either. Um, obviously, they, it looks like there's the old price tag what got pulled off there at some point. I'll try and see if I can get it off. Um, but there was also these, which were the Masters of the Universe Ladybird books. So, um, these couldn't be passed either, to be honest with you. Um, and I just got this one because uh, this was with it as well. So, there was a Superman Ladybird book along with it. So, it was either buy them all or... I mean, I couldn't really pick or choose because they were all together. Um, so if the Superman one wasn't with the Masters of the Universe then that would have been great. Um, but we've got Masters of the Universe, He-Man meets the Beast, uh, He-Man and the Lost Dragon, um, uh, He-Man and the Asteroid of Doom, the Iron Master, Skeletor's Ice Attack, and Castle Grayskull under attack. So that's actually pretty, pretty good at the moment. Um, so currently, as it stands at the moment, um, those are my hauls. Um, oh, hang on. I just remembered, I've also got these. I picked I picked these up because I'm actually into card games as well. So um, I play different card games and board games with my uh, brother-in-law. Um, it's actually a thing that, which is actually really good that we've got in common. Um, we have a lot of things in common because we're both really quite nerdy. Um, so yeah, pretty good. So here we go. We've got um, a set of. Like some Digimon cards, if you can just let it focus in. So yeah, if you can, there you go. Oh no, you can't really see them all too well. But the main guy for me was this guy and this guy. So Hercules Cabaterimon and Machine Dramon. Um, there was a Metal Greymon there as well. Um, a Beedramon. Um, Mega Seedramon. Piximon. Um, Mamemon, and then we'd also got uh, some champions in there. So we got um, Ogamon, Gesomon, Sukamon, Meramon, Kokotorimon, uh, uh, Gorillamon, Mushroomon. And uh, Sayakomon. So, but I was like fully stoked to, to actually get some Digimon cards because I, I never owned any. Uh, yeah, I've got Pokemon cards, I've got the Transformers trading card game, I've got the Final Fantasy trading, some of the trading cards for that, um, for that card game, uh, some Digimon cards now. Um, just trying to think what what else. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, so yeah, I like I like I like playing board games and card games as well with my friends. It's nice just to like 
chill out, have a few beers, and just really uh, enjoy ourselves. I mean, at the moment, it's not something that we can do. Um, but I'm sure that we're going to make up for a lot of lost time. <laughs> um, so, yeah, currently, those are all my um, pickups. Uh, so, what we'll do is I'll just I'll spin the camera around um, and obviously I'll give you a show so over here we'll just point the camera over to this direction this guy here is my um, custom Bruticus that I've always yakked on about that I built um, so the parts what made him was a uh, Transformers um, Robot in Disguise uh, Lugnut made Blast Off uh, the movie they call him the um, Blackout which I actually completely repainted black uh, I kind of gave him a, I suppose you could say like a movie-esque with a G1 feel to it um, or G1 with a movie-esque feel feel to it, I mean it depends how you want to look at it. Um, I used a bludgeon um, so as brawl, I know brawl's got a longer turret usually but it's kind of the best one that I could find that was the same size as the alternator's swindle um, so that's really what I had to work with, I had this guy because he was the same high and everything um, I used a third party um, prime for the uh, onslaught then we've got these are actually pieces of uh, the robots in disguise uh, not not robots in disguise the energon um, Shockwave and the uh, what do you call it? Bits of the Creo, uh, Thundercracker Creo. Um, that is a piece of the Skywarp Creo. That is a piece of um, what do you call it? Uh, that's the Energon uh, Shockwave. So there we go. So that's that one. Um, and then we'll spin round over here. So this guy, this guy has been a long time in the building. He's, uh, this guy is my custom uh, Devastator that I built. Like I said, it took nine months. If you look over the top now, I've actually finally got round to, I don't know whether you can really see it there, um, it's still a mess because I've still got to add the uh, the fins so what you can see over Devastator's head so he has like a lot more square fins and then um, Mix Masters like bits what are going to go up there as well uh, but I haven't got any spares so that's the reason why he's kind of still unfinished so as you can see, um, I finally managed to mount Overload after a long time talking about it. Um, but yeah, he's still there, he's still with me. So that's my... Um, I don't want to call him Masterpiece because he's probably far from it. I mean, he's just my custom Devastator, he's my take on, on it and I think I'm much improved on the Supreme Devastator. <laughs> uh, I'd like to think so anyway, I mean it, everybody's opinions are different. Um, so we'll come over here, uh, the many cameras, and here we go. Over here this is my Mighty Max collection. Um, like I said, they, I've had them since I was a kid. Um, uh, the Polly Pockets down there are actually my wife's, so my wife decided to get involved on this display as well uh, and jumped on it with me, so she's like put her Polly Pockets, there's um, an original My Little Pony down there, just uh, 
uh, straightening a few bits up, sorry about that. So, uh, as you can see, these are all my Minicons currently. Um, a Prime, I don't know where that Prime's from. Uh, a robot in disguise uh, Minicon. I'm not too, I'm not massive fans of those, to be quite honest with you. Uh, then, here we go, as you can see, that's my Studio Series again. And these are my Combiner Wars. So, Orthia's not Orthia currently at the minute, so there's my Moon Racer and my Siege um, Chromia. Then I've got the G1 um, Skyquake. There's my, just lift it a bit further up for you, uh, Computron, who's not completely Computron yet. My uh, Combiner Wars um, Superion, or Unite Warriors, should I say. Uh, and then here we go. So we've got my G1 Combiners from when I was a little kid. Um, then there's the Armada Hotshot, G1 Snare. Uh, I'm holding this by the tripod. That's the reason why it's a bit shaky and a bit all over the place. So, yeah, so that's that shelf. So that's currently... Um, I mean, I did used to have, let's turn you guys back around now. Um, I did actually used to have a pretty impressive uh, collection. Um, a lot of it was mainly um, G1. So there's a lot of things what have changed over time, over a gradual period of time. Um, obviously your tastes in your collections change. Um, so yeah, that's basically where we're currently at at the moment um, with my collection. Hopefully I will get another shelf, um, but these won't be living in here forever as I've mentioned previously in live videos. Um, not so much to the YouTubers I don't think, but we have we are currently, me and my wife are currently in the process of uh, converting the loft um, into space for myself. Um, Danielle is then going to uh, have this room. Um, so yeah, it's it, it's going to be pretty good when everything's done and dusted. I mean, we've done a lot of work whilst we've been in isolation. Um, a lot of these orders have like come through online mainly um, and believe it or not a lot of things have been sold on eBay um, a lot of my stuff because uh, it just it was just taking up space and it was space that was just didn't need to be filled at the time so yeah, so currently, um, that's where we're at. I have started a another custom. Um, but that one's going to be a long time in the making. It's going to take quite a bit of... Um, quite a bit of time to get that one on the button. Um, so the custom that I have started is a custom that I have mentioned to you before. Um, I wanted to move away. I wanted to do all the combiners, but they do take a hell of a long time. I mean, like I mentioned, Devastator um, took nine months. At the same time as I was building Devastator, I was building Bruticus. Um, but if I did want to go back to building a custom again, um, especially Combiner, then I will probably not... <sighs> Excuse me for the yawn. I will probably not take two on at the same time it was silly of me for do, to do so um, especially when 
at that time I didn't have the skill. So, um, oh, that's my wife and daughter. as a photo that I took. I'm also a professional photographer as well. Um, so amongst my many other hidden talents, um, I'm yet to discover what they are. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, that that's pretty much it in terms of the pickups and the collection so far. Um, I mean, oh right, yeah, there we go. So I mean, if I just flip you that way, looking at the door, and I can that there. As you can see, that is my list. Well, there's about, as you can see, there's quite a fair few pages. <laughs> it's not just my list, it's not just any old list. It is my. Um, that one is. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to not to zoom. Oh no. No. Oh dear. Terrible. Terrible. Worksmanship there by the cameraman. Um, so yeah, that there is my uh, my list of wants, I suppose. So on that list we've got Combiner Wars Blot, Ripper Snapper, uh, Combiner Wars Devastator, Combiner Wars Inferno, because I want to combine that with... Um, Well, eventually, with uh, where what Alita wants connected up to. So I think it's looking at it. It's Hound Jazz, Dreadwind, and who's the other one? Oh, Ironhide. Currently at the moment. So um, I'd strip all them off, connect them to uh, to Inferno. Um, and then I'd make uh, Elite One stand with uh, Moonracer and Chromia. So that is the plan anyway. Uh, also on that list is Siege, Lancer and Greenlight. Hence I need that for... Oh, well, I've noticed that there's one on the list that I haven't put on there. I haven't put on the uh, Power of the Primes um, Nova Star. So the Siege Lancer and Siege Greenlight to make Orthea. Uh, Studio Series Scavenger, Studio Series Scrapper, Studio Series Overload. Mixmaster was on that list, looking at this, uh, but I've since ticked it off. Skipjack. So two of those are on hold at the moment. Then there's the fans project. So FPJ uh, Ekara, aka Slash. Um, so that's just one. Um, one of the lists. So yeah. <sighs> Excuse me for yawning again. I'm just sat here appreciating. What I've got, I think that's one of the things you've got to do sometimes, is appreciate as a collector. Um, and then, if you're not happy, if you don't look at something, it doesn't give you a smile or a feeling of like, Ah oh, man, then um, it's actually a thing that my wife introduced me to, um, and I forgot what the the thought process behind it. It's a particular person who said that if this certain element does not bring you happiness, then you just get rid of it because it never will bring you happiness and. then you're just stuck with 
space being used. So simple as that. Um, but yeah. So on the whole side, uh, I've had some Combiner Wars stuff, some Might Max stuff, some Digimon stuff, some Siege stuff, um, some very, very cool books. Um, so yeah, I am currently at the moment very, very in a very happy place. Um, one with my collection and two generally with life. Um, just let you know this is not the beer token either. I mean these are only like little stubby things, just nice things what I can have when I'm in the office. Um, but yeah, uh, it's been really really awesome. Um, Right, okay. So having said all this, um, it looks like another eBay item has sold. Uh, so what I need to do is that I'm probably better off getting that package now before my daughter goes to bed. And let's have a look. Let's see what item we've sold. It's actually a PlayStation 1 game. Um, so I used to collect video games, consoles, like old retro stuff before like I went back to Transformers and things like that. Um, so we've got, so today alone I have sold a Sega Dreamcast console a PlayStation 1 console and now a PlayStation 1 game. Um, so, I was checking to make sure that they weren't going to the same person, which by the looks of things they're not. Um, yeah, so that's going to Camden. Nice one. Thanks for that, Camden. Um, so yeah, great. So I'm going to get that sorted. Um, I'm also going to jump into my friend's um, Twitch video. Uh, I'd suggest that you give him a follow as well. Uh, I will also be doing a Twitch um, from time to time and keeping you updated on projects as they're going along. So my Twitch will be the actual physical creation of my um, customs and then obviously you can catch up with it and what it looks like when it's painted and the process of what it's starting to look like on YouTube. So, having said that, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you all look after yourselves. Stay indoors. It's, unless it's absolutely necessity to go outside. Um, I mean, this will all blow over eventually. Uh, I know it's a pain in the backside. It's it's not great of a situation that we are currently in but if you're in the UK, if they're in the US or if you're anywhere else in the world just take care of yourselves, look after yourself, look after your families we will get through this COVID-19 business and thank you very much for tuning in enjoy the rest of your evening guys or morning wherever you are and uh, I will be hitting you up with some more custom work and I will also be uploading more and more pickup vids as the summer goes along and we are finally allowed out again so keep your eyes out for that 
and um, it's just been nice to actually show my face, talk to you guys, uh, and yeah, let's 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 still have a good year. So that's me. I'm done. I'm gonna drink the rest of these beers and uh, put all this stuff back where it belongs. And next time when I do a video, I'll make sure I've got it all out prior to starting the video. So learning curve. Right. See you later.